we are at that point in the summertime crew where I'm doing one load of laundry a day because that dryer puts off so much heat into the house. It just, ugh. Because, you know, my bedroom, we're in my bedroom right now, in the master bedroom right now, and the dryer is like right over there. And it just puts off so much heat. In the wintertime, it's nice. In the summertime, not so much. Not so much. So, welcome back. Black. Welcome black. Welcome back to another vlog. And I will also point out that in the summertime, it is perfectly okay to embrace your inner hippie, ladies. Especially when you start reaching that age, over 35. Forget looking nice. Be comfortable. Especially when that means that you're in the middle of monsoon season in the high Sonoran Desert. And things outside feel crispy. Let's go with crispy. Because when it's been breaking over a hundred since late June now. And yeah, things feel crispy. Especially considering that we're at that upper amount of humidity now, which means not only is it crispy, it's muggy. And it's a different kind of muggy than what you have in like the American Southeast, because there you have a lot of trees. I don't have a lot of trees here that I can take shade under, so. It's a little bit more miserable than what I would like, and there have been a couple of times after it has rained that it's been one of those, oh god, I need scuba gear. <laughs> but, yeah, time to get to that. There's always that. There's always that. And dishes. <sighs> so today's forecast was, is... All of that is going to build up into some packets of rather intense stuff. Come on, Maggie. They were saying we might have hail, pockets of very severe hail. They were saying that, Maggie, leave it every damn time. And, yeah. So we actually do get hail fairly frequently, apparently. Um, at least two or three times a year, we end up with a hailstorm. And it is one of the reasons why Dave and I are in agreement that we are going to be prioritizing building a shelter over where the cars get parked. Oh yeah, check this out. That's building up into something. Didn't really get anything much yesterday, weather-wise. I mean, it clouded up enough that the evening was pleasant because we didn't have the sun baking us. If you're gonna do something, then you do it. But uh, I'm walking up to the mailbox real quick because the mail should be ran by now. Grabbing everything in that because. Mailboxes are not waterproof. They're just not. Which makes things a little awkward sometimes when it's raining. And you're expecting things. So. Good morning, crew. It is Wednesday. Don't let the chipper fool you. We had our first... Uh, overnight rain of the monsoon season last night, complete with thunderstorm, complete with two dogs in our bed shaking. <laughs> uh, my poor puppies. They, they do not, they do not like thunderstorms. 
and not like thunderstorms. Unfortunately, this morning also means because it was an overnight rain that uh, my husband now has to make a very soggy run to the dump. <laughs> Uh, and for those of you wondering about the math on that, it is actually quite simple. It is uh, $35 a month for monthly dump. I was right going to put things in the studio and I hear my husband yelling outside. I'm like, what? Fuck. But, what? Early morning, you hear somebody yelling, no, with that tone of voice, there's almost always that, okay, what just happened? Why just happened? So. Uh, anyways, I was talking about math. Trash math. Okay, so it is $35 for a once a month dump um, from a trash service. And then for a once a month run with the truck, it is $9 per full ve per vehicle. Um, and it works out because a lot of times on those once a month runs, he needs to finish going all the way into town to check um, the mailbox, uh, the um, um, to grab, you know, like a gallon of milk. You know, take pick up a couple other things. So and another check in. Oh, so better night's sleep, which is always nice on the homestead. And as you can see, it is a clear day today. Peek. We peek at the world. There are people out there. Yes. <laughs> There's no actual people out there. So laundry is officially one load a day because all that dryer puts out so much heat. Ugh. Don't have a lot to do today besides, well, I'll take that back. I've got magic i got to do today. Um, I'm not going to say what kind because it's the kind that petty-ass people don't need to be knowing what I'm doing. Um, which is, with a Z, dropped uh, the full version of the magic finally on Spotify. So that's going to be blasting through these for a large chunk of the day on repeat. It's one of those days. I am not entirely certain why veiling works so well to help ground myself, but it does. Maybe there will be a secular explanation instead of a lot of religious speculation, but you know what? I think I like having the space to actually deal with said emotions that I find myself overwhelmed with from time to time than actually being overwhelmed. You know? So there's this phenomenon that occurs here once we've had at least an inch, full inch of rain. Um, it's like something out of a B-grade horror film. You get out of here. You're not going outside. Let me show you. Those are all some kind of flying ant. We've had enough rain that they're now out. And yes, that is clumps of them falling off of my roof because they are currently mating. Uh, the front side of the house looks just as bad, if not worse. I went to let the dogs out and they hit the brakes because the porch is covered with these. They only last about a day, day and a half, two days. Once they die off, uh, the birds are happy as can be. 
But when this is going on, me and the dogs just don't come outside that often. Mostly because it looks like the ground is alive. I don't know how well you can hear their buzz either, but it just, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the High Sonoran Desert. That's one of the reasons I don't watch horror shit. Because I live in a place that sometimes outdoes any horror film that you could ever possibly watch. I'm gonna come back inside. Lock the back door just because I can. This little fucking lock. Come on, there we go. Front door's locked. I ain't going out that anytime soon. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go back to making a burger and watching Habitual Line Crosser play Among Us. My year this, y'all. My year this year, y'all. So it's Saturday, July 15th. Dave was up in Phoenix for the weekend and contracted either food poisoning or a stomach bug. He's feeling so bad that he was going to just stop and get a hotel room, but it's so early in the day, you can't rent a hotel room before 2 p.m. Early check-in is like 2 p.m. for most places. Um, so he has to stop. So he's going to go to the ERVA in Tucson because he's feeling that rotten. Well, after thinking that there wasn't going to be a blog, vlog this week, a vlog, vlog this week, got to find out, we will actually have one. Most likely what my husband came down with um, this past weekend was food poisoning of some kind. Or it was a virus that I've already had because my immune system laughed at it hysterically like ho oh, ho you think you can make me sick too uh -uh. don't think so so um it has been slow uh he got home saturday night horses could be from his guts violently inverting themselves maggie come on maggie leave it your button gear come on Little rat trying to get this done before it monsoons possibly in the afternoon because water mailboxes are not waterproof <laughs> water resistant not waterproof um but uh he probably had maybe 600 calories on sunday maybe a thousand on monday Yesterday was a little bit more normal of a breakfast. Today was a normal breakfast. But uh, <clears throat> he just got off of four involuntary, almost 20-hour-long fasts. <laughs> he commented to me before uh, going to move the sprinkler that these shorts feel a lot looser than I remember them from four days ago. And I'm like, really? Gee, I wonder why that is. <clears throat> You know, sometimes when I've got my these sunglasses on, it is very hard to see if I'm recording or not. Uh, it is Friday, and I am dealing with some fuckery that is the student loan department. We're going to go on a little rant here. If you're a young person, you're ready to graduate high school, you are not obligated to go immediately into college. I tried college, did three semesters, and learned a little too late 
that I got into college before I was ready. I should have, you know, gotten a job or joined the army like I intended for four years. Maybe do a second enlistment, re-enlistment, whatnot, but should have given myself the chance of getting some freaking life experience so that I would know what it is I wanted to do. As it was, I didn't know. Which made things very difficult on me because, well, I made a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends still in Tennessee. But I shouldn't have gone into college out of high school. Because I didn't want know what I wanted to do with my life. And it's okay to not know. But honestly, a lot of us get pushed into college before we're really fucking ready. And that's not fair to ourselves. You know, if you want to go into trade school, go into trade school. There's nothing saying that you can't go back to college later. You know, as much as I would like to go back to college, the thing that I would go back to college for would be for an accounting certification. Because bookkeeping and accounting are things that I find myself greatly enjoying these days. For some reason. <laughs> I know that that's probably the kind of thing that most people would not expect to hear from me, especially those who have known me for a very long time. But uh, I actually really enjoy that aspect of the homestead. I like seeing all of those points of data and putting them all together to make sure that everything is running smoothly. So... It wouldn't be for film production like I originally wanted. Yeah. It would not be for geology, which is my second love. But, you know, maybe I could do a minor for geology. That would be, that'd be fun. That might be funny. <laughs> or do the geology degree and still get the accounting degree stuff. And just, you're a geologist who can account. Might be fun, but most geologists for the really good paying jobs work for the mining companies. And y'all know, y'all are familiar with uh, all of that brouhaha and crap. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me tell you something though. I'd given myself some time to figure out what I wanted, things would probably have worked out a little bit better. As it is, them putting student loans into forbearance slash non need pay status still bought me, da me and Dave a lot of valuable time to get other debts off the books. So, for that, I'm grateful. <sighs> Would have been nice if I could have won the lottery, though. But I think we all say that. She is in the next chicken. Are you comfortable? Yeah. You're sitting on about four different projects there. Including this one, which is a bag for a friend. Well, Eric, if you know how to hear about Blessed, the bag. <laughs>
so I thought I was gonna get the vlog up on Friday, uh, June 21st, or not June, July, no. <laughs> Me and him just, we had had such a week with him getting sick, we were like, you know what, we're just gonna relax. As soon as he was done with work, he threw records onto the LP player, listened to a whole bunch of them, and just relaxed. Saturday, didn't do anything that we didn't have to. Sunday, I had my phone on airplane mode, listening to music, and I just did not interact with anybody or anything. But that is it for this particular vlog, guys. Uh, I should have two more videos coming out this week. We're gonna do one more vlog for July, and we've also got the August fill-in. Yay, bills. Um, we've also got the August fill-in for a bullet journal video, which is gonna be out later this week. So you guys will be seeing this on Tuesday. But, uh, we're gonna wrap it here. <laughs> We're gonna wrap it here before I am not able to get it done. Cause it's gonna, I'm gonna work out it tomorrow morning and get it uploaded tomorrow. Before anything else happens that extends this vlog farther past than I want it to go. So, <clears throat> hug your loved ones tight cause life likes to change directions at Mach 9. Take care of yourself guys and I love y'all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video, which should be the bullet journey video. Bye-bye.